Hello everyone, you will see the design of FIR filter using windowing method. Let's take an example of low pass filter. A low pass filter is represented like this in frequency domain. Its equivalent in time domain is like this. It goes from minus infinity to plus infinity. But this infinite number of sample is very difficult for us to store. So what we do is that we truncate it. That means we take a finite number of samples in the time domain. When we truncate a sample in time domain, it gets reflected in frequency domain like this. Oscillations get introduced in pass band and the stop band. And these oscillations are known, known as Gibbs phenomena. On one hand, we are required to truncate a sample so that we will have the finite number of samples. And on other hand, we need to avoid these oscillations. Therefore, what we do is that we multiply our response in time domain with another function which is known as windowing function. We will see the Hamming window. Hamming window function is given like this. We multiply our desired filter response by the windowing function and we get the h of n and this is the design of a filter. We solved a problem in the class where desired frequency response comes out to be sine pi n minus 6 by 2 whole divided by pi n minus 6. Design of filter that means calculating the h of n is nothing but multiplication of respective samples of windowing function and desired filter response. Let's see how the program looks like. We know that uh, the negative frequencies are just a replication of positive frequency. So we do not plot a negative frequency, we just plot a positive frequency. The frequency will go from 0 to pi in the interval of 0.01. n is equal to 7. This value we got while solving the problem. This loop gives the samples of windowing function. We had plotted that windowing function. Let's see how the output looks like. This is the output of windowing function in time domain. See how output of windowing function looks like in frequency domain. For that purpose, we need to take the Z transform of windowing function. Here we have taken the Z transform of windowing function. This we have seen in Z transform practical. We have plotted that. Let's check the output of this. This is the output of windowing function in frequency domain. We had calculated desired transfer function in time domain. This is the loop where we had calculated individual samples of desired transfer function. We know that for special case of HD of 7, we need to have 1 by 2. This we saw while solving the problem. Then we need to take the Z transform of desired transfer function. In this loop, we have taken the Z transform of the desired transfer function. Let's see how the output looks like. This is the response of desired a desired transfer function in frequency domain. We can observe there are oscillations in pass band, stop band and these oscillations are known as Gibbs phenomena. To avoid this Gibbs phenomena, we multiply desired transfer function and windowing function in time domain. Here, we have multiplied the windowing function and desired transfer function. Then, we had calculated the Z transform of the multiplication of desired transfer function 
and windowing function let's call that as h and we plotted that h let's see how the output looks like this is the output of multiplication of desired transfer function and windowing function and we can observe that the oscillations in pass band and stop band has been reduced this is the practical of hamming window thank you